I'm so honored to have all of you here for this special announcement. We are here because of you and because of all of the other patients who have made the trips to Huntsman Cancer Institute to find healing and to find hope. You have collectively in the last year made more than 35,000 trips from this area of Utah to Salt Lake City to obtain care from our specialists at Huntsman Cancer Institute. Today I am here to announce no more driving. I am here to, hey. <laughs> I am here so thrilled to announce that we are going to bring Huntsman Cancer Institute to you, to this community of Vineyard. We have initiated planning for a comprehensive cancer campus that will have leading edge research and cancer hospital, specialty hospital, to meet the needs of this community. Our aim is to deliver a cancer-free frontier, and that begins right here in Utah today. I want to tell you a little bit about the land that we're standing on today. Vineyard is so special, and Utah County is special, and together um, we're standing in the largest regional development in Utah County. It's at the Nexus for Transportation and right in the center of Vineyard's burgeoning downtown. So if you all look to the south, which is this way, you'll see a ton of housing where there used to be just a small street with 100 people. But in five years, we've grown to over 20,000 people. Um, but we're located right in the state's tech hub and we're partners to universities that are partnering with us to create something phenomenal for the region. One of the mayors in Santa Quinn was telling me that he has a granddaughter that has had to travel every day for two hours to get to Huntsman Cancer Institute. And knowing that it's going to be closer and more connected and that people are going to have that healing and that care and that incredible world-class research close to us is why we're doing this today and why we're working so hard to make sure that this uh, is easy and um, that we can bring people right into the heart of our community, not only in Utah County, but for our southern regions. Uh, Mary mentioned that cancer touches everyone. Just over 10 years ago, I received a call from, from my mom telling me that she had an inoperable, incurable form of brain cancer called a glioblastoma. And she passed away less than 60 days later. Just over 10 days ago, Huntsman Cancer Institute announced that its own um, Dr. Howard Coleman is having success with a pioneering effort to treat glioblastomas using a modified cold virus to help the body's immune system attack those uh, previously incurable tumors. So we are so proud to be working with a group who works tirelessly to replace terminal timelines with hopeful futures. We're looking forward to collaborating and developing new collaborations with the Huntsman Cancer Institute and the opportunities that they're going to provide for our students, for our faculty, and I say ultimately to this community. These educational opportunities which will allow students and faculty to engage in research projects, to participate in clinical rotations, to have internship and volunteer opportunities that advance cancer care for Utah County and ultimately will enhance the lives of the patients and the families who are devastated at times and impacted certainly by the cancer diagnosis. No doubt HCI facilities here will be staffed by many talented Wolverines and we are excited again to welcome you as our partner and neighbor to Utah County. Welcome. Uh, it's amazing to see what's happening here. It is, frankly, it's a miracle. Uh, as Mayor Fulmer alluded to, five, ten years ago, this was really nothing. And then before that, it was the old Geneva steel site. And I've represented this area for almost 20 years. And before, I'd be out here talking to people, and there's literally 40 people here. Just 40 people <laughs> to see if they'd uh, like to cast a vote for me. And now there's <laughs> thousands upon thousands. Amazing. The, the legislature's aware. Uh, I'm not going to speak for the entire Senate, but we... We know how these dollars work, and people are coming for various dollars for their various reasons, and this is one of those very good reasons. It's an economic driver for Utah County as well. 
besides the more important benefit of improved health for all. And I, I think that as members of this community here, uh, to have the comfort and confidence to know that Huntsman Cancer Institute is going to be in your backyard to help you manage through those difficult times uh, is a remarkable blessing for all of us uh, in the great state of Utah. Uh, Senator uh, Grover said this, but I will just repeat it. The legislature is so, so grateful uh, for all that's been done here. And we do understand uh, that one of our roles is to appropriate funds uh, for important things that make a difference in our state. And I can't speak for the whole legislature, but I can speak for myself and a lot of colleagues that I think are here today, that we are committed to ensuring that uh, these important things that lead uh, the state of Utah into a great future are items and issues that we will uh, contribute to and do everything we can to support. Thank you for all that you do. Now, I'm pleased to announce in the spirit of further collaboration, there, there's another big thing we've got to work on together. This project will cost, to put up the facility, $300 million. Today, I'm pleased to announce that we have a matching gift, a gift of $75 million to this community. I think it's uh, appropriate. Today uh, is John Huntsman's birthday. I had the opportunity to meet a number of times with John before he passed. And there was one thing he always told me, be fearless. As a community, we're gonna need to be fearless today. We're gonna need to be, to be able to get together to raise this $300 million with community efforts and state efforts and efforts of uh, philanthropies across the United States, we will be able to build this hospital that will change the lives of people here in Utah County. My father's goal was not to fight cancer for the rest of his life. My father's goal was to fight cancer until it is eradicated from the face of this world. And he passed away five years ago but here we are today, as committed as ever to fighting this dreaded disease. Well, I think you can probably all see why we have called this project for the last couple of years as it's been developing, Project Unite. It is clearly and truly a formidable partnership, collaboration, team, and commitment of all of us together, linking arms to improve the health of our communities and deliver a cancer-free frontier.